Welcome back. It is time for another segment of Better Health. We have Dr. John LaPree joining us this morning, and I know this particular topic is near and dear to a lot of people. Uh, it is Alzheimer's Awareness Month. It, it affects more people than we realize. Oh, absolutely. You know? It's, uh, in a, and I started with the definition of dementia, because dementia is really that loss of critical thinking in right. all older people, of which Alzheimer's is just a subset, a smaller grouping. That's interesting. I guess yeah. I didn't really because we hear that a lot. Oh, she has dementia. But like, right. what is I guess the difference? Well, let's start with the official definition let's of do dementia. That. Yes, dementia is a loss of thinking, memory, or reasoning to the extent it interferes with your activities of daily living. Okay, that and makes sense. In uh, an earlier story, we looked at the four main types of dementia, of which Alzheimer's is about sixty percent. It's the lion's share of these things. Hmm. Okay, uh, let's look at some of those early warning signs there. So problem solving. Oh yeah, especially tasks that require multiple steps. That's a good trick. Okay. I'll, I'll ask a patient to do two or three things and see how far they can go with that. Okay, interesting. Finding the right word, changes in handwriting, really big. Really? Mm -hmm. You'll see that in your, your great grandma, right? She'll, okay. The writing gets worse and worse as they write to you, oh. and you can compare the letters. I've never heard of that one. That's that's interesting. Real common, getting lost and displacing things, and uh, finally, mood or personality changes. That's a big one. Yeah, that might go first. Actually, yep, that's right, first I, yeah. I feel like we we see that often. Uh, let's talk about uh, have a brain scan graphic. What is what is that? Absolutely. I don't know if ah, it's up there now. When you look at the Alzheimer's brain, it's about a third of the size of the normal brain. It gets really shrunken. It's it's devastating. I'm now laughing because I realized that yeah. meant that uh, you have this graphic. Okay. I, have that graphic. I thought you meant literally like you should get a brain scan oh. and then like so you can have a visual <laughs> graphic. And I'm thinking I was about to ask you after like what, where can I do that? But It'll anywho, that graphic right there. Yes. Okay. Losing <laughs> and, my marbles. Speaking of, uh, let but but an important point on that graphic yeah. is this is a progressive neurologic disorder. It it doesn't stop. Once the train is moving, the, the train is going to move. I cannot reverse it. That's right. And yeah. the, I mean, we'll, we'll get more oh, into yeah. that. Um, so let's talk about the life expectancy. Yeah, no, this is sad. So from time of diagnosis, the life expectancy is about 10 years. And everybody's a little different, but that really is the average. And it, it's almost like, in a lot of ways, the opposite of like an ALS, right? It's like you have your functions per se, but you just, your mind goes. Correct, yeah. In an ALS, that's a short circuit of the nerve fibers. Right. It really doesn't affect the brain as much as the longer nerves. Okay, yeah, just. Yeah, very sad. Very sad. Uh, let's talk a little bit about. Um, Family and caregivers. Yes, because I, I do know, I do know some. <laughs> This a is thing a or big two. deal. It is. It affects the families just as much. Oh, it's horrid. Yeah. And the unpaid efforts alone of all the family and caregivers, two hundred and thirty billion per year. This is unpaid time they're spending away from work and, and to take care of these people. It it becomes around the clock. It definitely does. Just because the worse the disease gets, things. Oh, the, I mean, the more you need it. Or I, for yeah. example, I was telling them before you got here. My my grandma when she forgot who my grandpa was, she would try and run away. Oh, so yeah. then you're, you're installing alarm systems and all, yeah. So locking it's definitely all the doors. locking all the doors. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Uh, let's talk a little bit about treatment because I know that's the big thing. Where are we with that? Right. We've talked earlier on this show about this uh, technique we have. We combine to the, the proteins within the brain. These are protein deposits mm -hmm. that kind of clog everything up. We can actually pull them out of the brain. The problem in older individuals is the damage is already done and we're not reversing their cognitive problems, their problems. So the research right now, which is really fascinating, is pulling these proteins out before any damage starts, okay. preventing Alzheimer's in the future. That's where the key is in this. Very interesting. Oh yeah. We are hopeful, right? <laughs> uh, that, that this will continue to grow and we'll find some at least prevention or maybe even treatment. I love this topic. We could, um, we could continue on all morning long, but we do have to send it to weather. See how it's feeling out there, Adam. <laughs>